So just a few things before I cut this video that you guys can see. These legs are adjustable at one inch increments here and here. They slide up and down really nice. This needs to be replaced with aluminum. It's steel. It's starting to rust a little bit and it adds weight. Um, in the future I probably wouldn't use a ball valve. I just have never used it and it, again it just adds weight. Another thing you'll hear me reference in the videos are uh, my high banker here, there's a lot of water that travels down this seam right here. It, uh, it, it, it When it's blowing each direction out of the high banker, it's flowing off the end. I'm going to cut this out so you, uh, you get a, a direct drop inside. These aren't fastened, they vibrate really nicely, the rocks just peel right off. Um, the deflector here needs to be heavier. I've bought some heavier rubber since I did all my testing. Should make a big difference. Got some nice deflection going on here. Um, these are over hog mat, but I also did use uh, some traditional nomad matting. Off we go. So this is just a still picture of an area of river that's being prospected. It's very important to note that the only thing that we're recovering here is probably minus 50 and lower, minus 50, minus 100, minus 150 in that range. I joke quite a bit in the video about doing the prospector's dance if there's anything bigger. So for the vendors out there, uh, I'm really trying to gear this towards small because there's small gold as far as you can see and as for as much as you can dig. It's uh, really all about recovery and patience. I think in my video I, I really did run too much water in many cases. Um, I'm going to have to try and adjust that. I'll appreciate any input when i finished. Alright, pretty windy, but let's see. It's got a lot of extra water coming off the back. I know i got to fix the problem on the side. I left some extra pieces of aluminum. And I broke one of my hoses this weekend too, so that's squirting out. But it's flowing pretty good. Lots of slope, lots of water, a little bit crooked. I'm tired. Just dig that out. See if I can get some uh, this gravel. One hand it by myself right now. See if we can see it wash out. I can shovel super fast into this. And it cleans out right now. Alright. In half an hour. Okay, just taking a little break. You can see my uh, little water hose slowly filling up my dig pond so I can get some good material. Sluice is flowing really good. Pretty much can it's just sweet digging gravel. I don't get any better than this. As fast as I can shovel. One handed. The bandits out there. Nothing bigger than a quarter inch goes through there. That's the way. Take a second to see how these ripples are doing. They got lots of good movement under there. Seems like the expand is, is holding it a little bit better. Flatten up the scroll a little bit. It's not bad. I wish a few more rocks were washing out, but not I can do about it. Okay, I just shut it down. Didn't move lots of gravel, but a little bit. See, gold hog mats underneath expanded metal and closely spaced Hungarian riffles. The water stopped. They were not so bad before. I'm not sure what's under here. It's not very deep. I'm curious to see what's deep down there. But the uh, expanded metal is, you can see the mats. It's just cleaned right out. Uh, when I pull this grate off, I'll have another little look here. I'm 
quite a bit here. Big difference, big, big difference. Yeah, good picture. Hang on. Okay, the riffle trays are removed. Big difference between expanded and Hungarian. Look at that. Just drastic. Let's see if we can see anything under here already. I don't know if I can see it. Not sure. One way to find out. One thing's for sure. Piece of cake clean. Look at that. Done. Nothing. Flower gold, as far as you can see. So I've done a little test pan here. Both these pails were taken from the same river bank, about 100 feet apart. The moss pail's doing a little bit better than the hog mats right now. So it's uh, getting a, a higher score here on my test pans. I also think I'll give it a good score for being lighter, uh, the hog mats put on about six pounds or five pounds uh, dragging my gear into the bush so the other thing is I was running the moss at a slower uh, water volume speed and I don't know how that impacts everything we got tons of super fine gold here there's no pickers Doc's always pointing out you know can you see this piece that piece well you know this pail I bet this pail's got 10,000 uh, you know, m minus 100s to minus 150s. So, you know, that's all we got. And I'm very curious to see how they stack up. I do think I'm getting too much blowout. I might have to slow it down. This is not a, you know, a, a, a big gold picking operation here. We just don't have it. So it will be interesting to see. So I'm going to gear up my Miller table here. I've never run it before. And we'll see how uh, this setup goes through. Just going to classify this down through a number 20. I had to go out and get a minus 70 because it just wasn't working on the table. This down. I want a minus 50, but they're out of stock, so I'll go back, keep these cons, and come back and get it. I can do a better job without holding the camera. Okay, change spots here because it wasn't working down there on the grass. But at least I know why most of you are crazy now. It's pretty tough setting this up and I'm still struggling with a uh, few items. Just starting to drink more beer now than processing. Alright, keep it going. Okay, so the cleanup's all done from Miner's Moss. A couple things. None of this gold is bigger than minus 70. So there's a lot of it. Super, super fine. Let's see if I can get anything in the light here. Move to the shade a little bit. I'll pull back. Nice little stash. High Banker definitely kicks ass. So Miner's Moss works. And we're off to process that that is from the gold hog mat through the same sluice. And putting it at a disadvantage right now is running tons of water. 
So I finished up the Gold Hog product, and this is everything that fits through a minus 70 screen. Pretty good. I think the moss uh, yielded a little bit more, and I only think that because I had slower water volume and did get a little bit more uh, specs. I, I just believe that it was floating, floating out too fast. So I guess it's all product dependent. We don't have any wire gold or pickers here. Or nothing you can see. <laughs> so I think uh, it was a disadvantage. So I've learned my lesson and I think I'll slow the water down a little bit. And we're talking almost seven, eight thousand gallons an hour going through that thing full blast. So it did have a little bit of impact, impact but still really nice. Everything below minus 70. It's just absolutely gorgeous. So what I'm doing now is I'm cleaning up the everything between uh, minus 20 and minus 70. I've got a full bucket there and I'm cleaning up a little bit different. I'm getting a little tired so I'm just pounding it through some V-rib matting here and it's sticking pretty good. It really is. I'm quite impressed with it. So I'll slow the water down a little bit here and I don't know if you can see some in there already but there it is, little specks. Minus 50s I've seen. Starting to do the prospector's dance at minus 40. So I'll show you guys what it looks like when I put a scoop of this in here. Just takes it away. Peels it all back and it's running down. I can take a step back and show you here. A little bit more comfortable than yesterday. Back was sore after that, so I've learned another lesson with that. Oh, I'm almost getting to the end. Just going to try and shoot a little bit more video of this below minus 70 before I stick it away in a vial. It really is nice. I'm going to zoom in a little bit, turn it around. Look at that. There's minus 100, 200. And that's all from the gold hog mat. Still a bit fast. I mean, every gold application is different. I know they talk about running big water. But big gold here is minus 50. I just love it. That's just some perspective. That's an 8 inch pan. A little cleanup. I'm hoping there's a gram there. Okay, it's really bright out here, but here's uh, some processed material. Pretty difficult to see, but look at the small ones in there. Let's see if that shows up later. I'm gonna try and move it about yet. I'm gonna run this down the miller table afterwards. Not bad. Okay, doing pretty good with our cleanup here so far. This is from both the miners and the hog mat. It doesn't really matter to me at this point. I just want my gold. It's looking pretty sharp. Look at that. It's just all below minus 70. I got some bigger stuff in there from when I tried to reclassify down the ribbed matting. It's just wicked. I think I got about two grams. I'm not sure. I tried to weigh the vial. My scale's not close enough. This is a half ounce vial. And I still got a bunch of cons in the bucket that have gold in it. I'm trying to get it out. I'm really struggling with it. I think I'm having some classification problems. I think next time maybe what I'll do is go from my sluice to a drop riffle sluice to a ribbed matting sluice to a miller table. My uh, woman starts to think I'm crazy, but I said, I've just finally become one of them. Leave me alone. But pretty nice gold here. So... I don't know, maybe I should send this to some vendors and they can try and process this to see if they can come up with something better. And that's it.